uh, field trip too. <laughs> we explored lots of things and uh, did experiments. Our main idea was discovering about exploration, but then the teacher said it doesn't matter. We can just, it, we will just explore how exploration starts. I enjoyed when we we could cycle and made the uh, there was a city and there was some, and then we could make a cable car go, go around in circles just by just by pedaling on a bike. Because there's like on the bike, they have a bike that moves the cable car, a bike that lights up the city, and a bike that makes music. Uh, riding the bicycle showed us that we don't need to use fossil fuels. We went to the hospital to research on the equipment they use to take care of people. Like, we went to see how they work with their brains and what kind of business they do. And we also learn about that unit. We learn about the neurons and lots of and parts of the brain. So the grade 11 and grade 12 physics classes went to the Cartoon Network Amazon. It's a water park with a lot of slides and things. Um, the key objective of the trip was to go down the slides and collect some data about acceleration, velocity, energy, work, friction. So this component of physics is known as mechanics. And what we tried to do was, of course, we had some fun as well, but we collected the data and we tried to process it. And it was quite close to what we expected. Like, um, we can calculate how much energy we had at the start of the slide, compare it to how much we had at the finish. And when we calculated using the data, we had slightly less energy at the end of the slide, which makes sense because, you know, you have a little bit of friction down the slide, you lose a little bit of speed. So it was a great experience that way. We used two devices. One was our phone, so everyone has smartphones now, so we put them inside waterproof pouches and we used the sensor log app to measure acceleration and velocity and then use that. And the second thing was a few of the students had GoPros. We took videos of the slides and we could see how much time it was taking and also estimate the shapes of the slides themselves. So learning physics in the classroom is all good and fair, you know, you see the theory, you understand how it works, but when you go and experience it and you calculate the data and everything matches up, you understand, you know, this is how acceleration velocity is applied, this is where you would use one equation instead of the other, and it just kind of connects your learning and solidifies it for you. Like a lot of people remember the equations and remember the key concepts because they can tie it back to the field trip, so I think just applying it and making it into something fun and relevant helps our learning become a little more concrete. So I'm involved in a couple of activities after school. The first is student council. Um, we have separate student councils for primary and secondary, but we do interact and it's a great experience because we organize events. We also work with the administration to convey messages from the student body to the administration and vice versa. And we also have announcements in assembly and things like that. And I think it helps build a lot of school spirit and a sense of community. So that's one of them. I'm also involved with the Model United Nations program. So we're setting up one at our school sometime soon. And we also send delegations to other schools. And it gives us a chance to understand how international systems work like and consider global issues and ethics. Student Council really helps with leadership. So that's one of the ways my after school activities help me. There's leadership, there's also organization and Working with other people, teamwork is a key component of Student Council and I think it's a great way to learn about teamwork and how things would work in the modern world. MUN is another great example because we can learn about ethics and about global issues that way and understand the challenges people face. It's When we go to different MUNs and we represent different countries, it's hard to collaborate and you can see how differing perspectives can make collaboration on a global scale harder but also more rewarding.